Yeah, yeah. All right, good morning. Because you guys here, I'm going to give a little facetious. Nice. All right. All right. So, Everybody when the trouble. world was created yeah. <laughs> in the Kabbalah, it says there's a Timtum that Hashem has to create this material existence from Him and separate because He's everything. So, we're part of this material uh, thing called creation. And in Kedoshim, I learned something my whole life, which today I think I learned incorrectly. It says, that Hashem says to Moshe, go tell Adab B'nei Yisrael, Be'amar Te'lehem, you should say to them, Kedoshim Tehiyu, you should all be holy, Ki Kedosh Ani Hashem Elokechem, because I, Hashem, am holy. That's what we all learn, right? Yeah. But that's not how it reads. If you actually look at the text, it says, Ki Kedosh, you should all be holy, because you, individually, are holy. Ani Hashem Elokechem. Ani Hashem Elokechem is like Trump saying, like, we're going to make everything great again. Or like you say, bam, or snap. It's like, Ani Hashem Elokechem is this trigger that just says, I just proved it. I don't have to say anything more than that. And then the next one, it says, Ishi Mo you have to honor your father and your mother. And you have to keep Shabbat. I don't have to say anything more than that. I'm God. This is it. And the funny thing about the parents and about Shabbat is I also learned there my whole life, well, if your parents tell you to break Shabbat, you don't break Shabbat because <coughs> Shabbat, that's why they're juxtaposing. No, don't read it that way. The parents are the people that created you. When we celebrate Shabbat, that reminds us God created us. Every time we do Shabbat, it's God created the world in six days, rested on the seventh. So we're reminded that the first step of this of this intrinsic holiness is remembering who brought us into this world. It's God, our, our parents, and then Hashem. And then the last one is uh, Again, it's just self-evident. It's obvious. And the so the command to us is not that God is holy. God's up in this other place. We're holy. We have the chance to be holy. So this parsha. For some reason, it's stuck in the middle of Vayikra, and we always, in school, never learn Vayikra. We always start with Breshit and Shemot, we skip to Midbar. This is the Parsha we should be learning, because this is, it's not that you're just holy, it will be good for you, and that's why I thought of the Trump, it'll be great and greater. Like, this is the secret, and everything that the evolves that evolves from that first beginning of the Parsha is, you can even bring a korban, Lirzan Chemtis Bachuhu, that it will actually find favor in God's eyes. I always wondered, is God involved? Yes, right here. You can bring a korban, and it can do something for you. And then the rest of the parsha is just more and more commands that I'll bring up only one, which is Kadosh in the Torah means, in terms of Hebrew, means separate. It doesn't mean holy or holier, it means distinctive. And when we talk about the fields, we have to separate a portion of our field for the poor people. And poor is a big part of, of, of our of mandate. And the entire history of the Jewish people would not have uh, come about if not for setting aside the field when Ruth came to Israel and she was gleaning in the field. That all came about because of this command. So continue to be holy because you are holy. Amen. <laughs> Amen.